Welcome back to the channel. So today in front of me, we got the 2022 M8 competition in individual Santorini blue. So I think this blue looks absolutely stunning. And how about this paired with the M8 competition? It's good looks. It's sleek looks. It's muscular looks. I think it works really well. So Santorini blue is available as an individual color option. That option is going to cost you $5,500. And the starting price for the M8 competition for the model year 2022 is $130,000. The competition package is included and is the only way you're getting an M8 for model year 2022. So the base model M8 is gone from the U.S. market. We talk a little bit more about the M8. So we got the laser lights up front. We've got the style 811 M wheels, bicolor, with the red calipers so also available in blue and I believe black but I like the looks of these wheels I think a little bit better than the 813 M wheels that you're are basically the standard ones that you'll see on M8s got the badging in black on the side gill slash boomerang fake air gill or whatever you want to call it of course the M carbon fiber roof standard on the car Let's see a little bit better view of the Santorini Blue in the sun. So Santorini Blue is a non-metallic paint, but whew, it's a nice, very deep, not very deep. It's a very nice shade of blue. So Outback 100 millimeter exhaust tips that come out from the S63 engine, twin turbo V8 4.4 liter, 617 horsepower, 553 pound feet of torque. So it goes fast. Unfortunately, I guess we lost the lottery here in terms of tires. Pirelli P0 is rather than the Michelin Pilot Sport 4 s which I think would be the preferred tire. If I were to be choosy about it. All right, so let's take a look on the interior. So what you will see very shortly is Silverstone. He's got familiar quilting of the 8 series for luxury and if you notice something different about this M8 competition it now has the optional M carbon bucket seats that made their debut on the M3 M4 now available as an option for the M8 see it's slightly different in terms of the quilting so you see the quilting carries over from the original 8 series seating doesn't mean it's any more cushiony, if you will. Just a different pattern for the leather. And I think it looks great in Silverstone. I think Silverstone works really, really well with the Santorini Blue. Let's take a look at the seat back here. So all familiar to you if you have seen the M3, M4 videos. Gorgeous, gorgeous back. Let me see if I can fit. So I can sort of squeeze in the back here, just give you a view of the back. So it does have two seats in the back, although you're going to have to cut off someone's knees and perhaps part of their torso to actually fit in the back of a coupe. So I did this Doug DeMuro. I can't remember if you did it or not, but damn, is this is very, very uncomfortable. You're not fitting two people in the back of this car unless they're height challenged. That's the only way they're fitting, because whew, it is cramped. All right, so let's see if I can squeeze my way out of this back seat arrangement. You can see the Bowers and Wilkins stereo system is equipped on this one. So again, that one's optional. I think it comes standard with the Harman Kardon. For now, I should say. Who knows what's going to happen with the chip shortage. Yeah, that is definitely not a comfortable fit. All right, so let's take a look on the inside and the front. So how we've equipped this car, we've got the assisted driving professional package, which gets you the assisted driving mode as well as active cruise control or distance control, whatever you want to call it. BMW says in the manual it's active cruise control with the familiar M1 and M2 buttons on the steering wheel. 
M mode is engaged, here is the sport view, which is will be familiar to you for the M3, M4 videos. Plus, you get the tack view in sport or track. So there's no M drive professional option here. There's no 10 stage traction control available. So we've got some nice touches on the interior. M8 competition badge up here. Sort of a really nice logo here rather than sort of printed onto the uh, center console. Got your M logo on your gear selector. But I think a really, really nice place to be. Let me double check on the other options here that we have. So we do have the parking assistance package as well. Or excuse me, the driving assistance package, which is now $100, which gets you the uh, camera system. So around the car, so you have a 360 exterior view of your car. Should you choose to look at it like that, so you go, you know, 3D view. Unfortunately, not in the color of the car. So maybe that's just because it's an individual color. They didn't, they didn't bother programming it. But otherwise, really good system. You also get the drive recorder and all the other sort of intelligent safety features involved. So blind spot detection, etc. Well, I already mentioned the carbon bucket seats. That's another $3,800 plus the sound system of $3,400. So starting price, as I mentioned, is $130,000. Adding, adding in the individual paint and other options, you're looking at just under $150,000. I think a really nice departure from what these cars were in 2020. So a nice price adjustment from those levels. So I don't know, maybe $150,000 is a little bit more reasonable to some people again we don't have a ton of these cars in terms of allocations this is the second of two that we got for i believe it was march production when the model year started off and individual orders on those two cars pushed it back a wee bit and they just arrived recently and we've got convertibles coming in two of those and two grand coupes one of which is a individual order which has been on the channel and another one is a customer order, so we, won't be able to, so we won't be able to see that one really in depth. Maybe we'll have a little quick little walk around video of that one. But Santorini Blue, individual color. Let us know what you think. And we'll see you at the next video.